Hello everybody, welcome back to the Wahoo Warrior channel. So we got Alan in the house with this good grief shirt. <laughs> Hopefully that'll come into play. Yes. Um, and we are uh, getting ready for the Bug Eater GT tournament coming up in Omaha. And uh, so we're, it's a thousand point uh, two platoon, no flamethrower tanks, I think is the only restriction that I can remember. Mm -hmm. uh, no armor platoon this year, is there? I think it's just two platoon. Oh, okay. I think. Okay, right. I, I don't remember anybody that brought any yeah. armor books. Through, so maybe that's why they... Uh, but, so 1,000 points. There was some discussion of it maybe going to 1250, but uh, Josh is sticking with the 1,000 because of the kind of the late concepts. Don't want to switch it up on anybody. But uh, I'm running my Marine Corps list again. Uh, same one I ran against Ryan, and I kind of got smacked with it. And my first instinct was to start changing some stuff. But I, 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 I discounted that, and I'm just going to stick with it. I'm going to play another match, uh, see how it goes. Because my first instinct was to get rid of one of the LVTs, armor the, the one up to a buffalo, and the LVT4, which will hold 30, and then kind of cram everybody in one. But I'm going to just go with what I had. Right. Uh, didn't make any changes. I did get my Mad Bob uh, alligator in uh just it's sort of assembled need to put the rear guns on it or side whatever gun the machine guns mm -hmm. uh, a couple hatch covers and get her primed and start painting it up i got that vehicle to paint as well so i'll probably do them at the same time but uh the marines are coming together i didn't do as much progress i'm making some with the light colored uniforms uh maybe a little lighter haven't had a lot of work done on that uh so i need to kind of sit down it's funny because when I sat down at the table this morning, I, I started to want to paint. Oh, and right, then it's right. like, oh, I got things I have to do. I have to get ready for the game. So uh, I am off tomorrow evening as well. And then I have some evenings open this weekend. That, so I'm planning to crunch down, get these guys done, have them ready. Uh, one of the other things before we go over your army list I want to talk mm -hmm. about is anybody... Uh, over the last year, as you if you follow my channel, you notice that we kind of dropped off the face of the earth for a while. Right. And uh, you know, I have I have patrons who have, are on my patron page, and uh, it's a great way that they are contributing to us continuing, you know, to right. play bolt action. So some of those guys fell off, and I don't blame them at all because they're what they're not paying for any creativity. And right. Right. So what I've done is I've made a kind of a commitment to. You know, every year I give away an army to one of the patrons at the buggy or whatever army. One of us from the group are playing. Sure. Last year was the army I played. Uh, I'm going to be playing the Marine Corps. So I'm giving that away as well. If you're a patron for my page, you have a chance to win it for every... Uh, and I used to have it all broke down into different categories. Mm -hmm. So uh, now it's going to be... And from this year on, anybody who's a patron for every amount that you are are providing you you have a, a chance to win sure okay so uh it's great for me because i like building armies i have a bittersweet happiness of like giving it away right. slack because right. i put the work into it yeah yeah but all that does it really does is just commit me to making another one mm -hmm. so but what i wanted to do this year is i didn't want to punish the people who were in that higher bracket that qualified for the army mm -hmm. so i'm also uh this is the army that the people who have been contributing the higher amount have a chance to win. Okay. And then anybody who's a patron, who's been a patron for the last year of any amount has a chance to win a secondary army that I think we're going to try to have Ryan's girlfriend run at okay. Bug Eater. So okay. she's a new player. Right. It's not going to be probably as good a quality of paint job as the Marines and the Airborne's I've done because it's going to be one of my early armies mm -hmm. that, I, that I put together. But it'll be fun. It's sure. more likely not going to be a British with the Churchill tank. Oh. So I'm gonna pull. I'm gonna kind of pull the little warlord, thousand point box army where oh, they make okay. the tank a veteran. Right. right. <laughs> there you go. So you got got a veteran, but I'm not gonna make. Yeah. It's just gonna be a big tank, big right. tank, and some infantry. They're mm -hmm. decently painted. It'll be it'll be a good gift for somebody to get. Sure. Uh, sure. But uh, and then from this year on, it's just gonna be. If you're a patron, you have a chance to win one of the the, the uh, an army yeah, at the end idea. of the year. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it helps. It really helps with our contest entry fees. It helps pay for those paints and supplies. And if you look online and you look at a unit that's painted, they're pretty expensive, yeah. you know. So yes, I don't really like to paint stuff up for the sole purpose of I'm not that good of a painter. 
I like to play more than I do paint. So it's just a nice little fun combination. So anybody, right, right. If, you're, if you're a patron, you have, you have a chance to, to take away the army I play every year at Bug Eater. So. Right. All right. So, Alan, thousand point list. Now yeah. you have traditionally ran at the Bug Eater two Sherman tanks, and right. you're always the two Sherman tank guy. Yeah, the two Sherman tank guy, right. Uh, right. And you've exactly. had mixed success. First year, you realized some of your errors with how you were operating them. Right, right. You stuck with kind of the same, if, correct me if I'm wrong, but you stuck with a similar concept, but were a little more effective with it. Last with year. Last yes, year. Yes, yes. So this year, what do you got in the bag? Okay, yeah, really, um, about the only thing I've changed up is uh, the Jeeps um, are, you know, you can see they have machine guns. They don't. Okay. They're really just order dice. Order you know? dice Jeeps. Uh, Transport. Right. And, uh, and I did upgrade um, one of the Shermans to the Sherman 76. Wow. And um, it's... Uh, uh, it Which is, in the past, in, in version one, used to be kind of silly because you lose a b bigger template. But since they upgraded in version in second edition, right, uh, you still have a two inch you template. You still have a two inch template, but it's going to be plus you know, six. Yeah, plus six, Oof. and it's seventy two inches. You know, so uh, you know, so a yard, you know, thirty six inches. It's, it's full penetration, right? Um, and uh, uh, and uh, okay, I can deal with anything out there. I can. I can, a thousand points, I can imagine the only thing you're going to be seeing that might maybe if somebody brings a Panzer IV. Right. For right. the Tiger Fear. Exactly right. You know, there, there would be the Tiger Fear. Uh, but, um, you know, at, uh, at, this, uh, at this level, you know, I'm going to be able to deal with them. Yeah, you, know? you should be able to uh, dominate the armor battle. Right, uh, right. In, you know? uh, either, in either fear of your tank mm -hmm. and or... Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's going to. It, I I don't think it's got an off factor, but it makes people. Oh crap! I can't. It put does. My, it, well, my even Panzer. just a Sherman at a thousand right. points has to me has an off. Not just this list that I'm running, but in right. general, because it's it's a nine armor tank that you have to deal with, or it's going to two inch template your infantry from yes. the close range. Yeah, right, right. And is your is your seventy five a veteran? Yes, this is veteran. So you this can is move regular. and fire with no penalty. Right, right. That's, this this is regular. But I you've mean, got the twelve inch more range right, for right. you're probably being short range starting turn two after yes. you drive up. Right, so. right. Okay. So okay, let me go over the list. Um, it's two platoons. Um, here we have a, a second lieutenant. Okay. Um, and uh, and a jeep, a transport jeep, mm -hmm. the seventy six Sherman. I have a um, nine man unit. Uh, with an NCO, all rifles, Ready? regular, okay. and um, another nine-man unit with the uh, uh, NCO, uh, all regular. Okay. On the other platoon, I have a lieutenant and an extra man. Both of them have uh, submachine guns. Uh, plus one lieutenant. Uh, 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 second? Yes, second okay. lieutenant. Um, have the Jeep, right. have the veteran Sherman, um, have a, uh, um, a nine-man unit, all rifles, NCO, and a nine-man unit with a bar and NCO with a uh, submachine gun mm -hmm. and seven rifles. Okay. You know, so, so ten I, order dice. As an opponent, when I see your list, this is the, what I think the way that this list is going to run. And it may be, I mean, every game's different, every mm -hmm. scenario's different. Mm -hmm. Is you're you're used to run a lot of veteran tough fighters, right? And you right. you'd get them in close, and you would just let the dice fall. You're right. Right. This your infantry is much more. It is quite a bit less uh, able to take the damage. Right. But if they're working closely with these tanks that have a two-inch template and a bunch of machine guns. Right. Right. It's going to be, it's going to be very difficult as long as you stay together for the enemy to crack one of the two components. Sure. Because right away I see your infantry as being your weak spot. Right. But not with a freaking mega tank. Yeah. And then the tank has the infantry to cover it, which is you. Kind of how they worked anyway. You know, anyway. Yeah. So if you, yeah. there's a bazooka team or whatnot, you dispatch right. your infantry to go try to take mm -hmm. it out, mm -hmm. and then the tank will give them cover from right. safety until that yes. threat is gone, and then they change places, and the tank will take the lead right. and knock right. out infantry, and then your infantry will sweep up the re remainders. So right. it'd be, it, it, it's a nice, although it's got a lot of points in armor, it looks pretty well rounded to me. Yeah. Uh, where you look at my list, and I'm going to go over it with you sure. and anybody who didn't watch my last video. And basically, <clears throat> I'm kind of doing a min-max list. Now, this is not a list that I would traditionally think is going to win me tournaments. But I will have fun playing it. It will win right. me some games. Right. 
I think, 20 to nothing. Okay. It also has a very strong potential of losing me games 0 to 20. Okay. So, right. Right. <clears throat> but I think it will be fun to play regardless. So I've got two nine-man squads. Uh, all my all my infantry is regular. Okay. So I've got two nine-man squads. Uh, they have three shotguns, three submachine guns, and then three rifles, which have the pistol upgrade. So okay. it basically makes that squad tough fighter. Right. Right. So it's a nine-man regular tough fighter squad. Okay. has a decent amount of firepower at short range because of three submachine guns. Right. Shotguns are basically rifles with a shorter range, mm -hmm. but it gives you the mm -hmm. tough fighter. So I have a squad there and a squad there. Right. Then I have two uh, seven-man squads. of They have three bars in each one. Yeah. So it gives me a little bit of a mobile mm -hmm. fire base. Right, right. <clears throat> so that hopefully I'm going to have some distance. To have some back. distance for these mm -hmm. guys, be able to shoot. Uh, I mean, that I, the Marines can theoretically run 13-man full-strength squads, which is what I kind of thought I would do, but then I, I kind of backed away from that because without, without them being veteran, without them being all tough fighters, it, it's really, you've seen close combats change games, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. So I want the potential to be able to do a close combat yeah. and be successful. I don't want to just hurl them in. Right. So... <clears throat> to not hurl them in and give them the opportunity of just shooting, <clears throat> I've equipped my platoon with three flamethrowers. Three. I have an independent flamethrower team here. I have another independent flamethrower team here. And then I have a six-man engineer squad. Okay. And they have a flamethrower upgrade. I see. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. And then I have a regular bazooka. Right. And I have my plus one lieutenant. Yeah. And the vehicles are LVT. They're not the up armored ones. So right. they're, they're basically they look armored, but they're this is the way they looked in real life. But sure. they they're so thin they're only count as a six. Right. Six open top. Yeah. It does have two medium machine guns on it though. Mm -hmm. It's inexperienced. Okay. This one's inexperienced as well to right. save the points. Right. Two medium machine guns. As long as I have a squad or something in there, it'll be able to fire both weapons at regular. Right. Once it's empty, it'll only be able to fire one at a minus one. Right. Not too worried about that. Uh, they, their job is to get things to where it needs to be and then okay. maybe have a few dice to right. chuck right. here and there. Right, right, right. And then this bad boy looks impressive. It's uh, not so much. It's got, it's actually got pretty neat. It's a seven armor, mm -hmm. closed top tank. Right. It has a light anti tank gun. It also has a coaxial, which is weird, heavy machine gun. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So that's a, a neat little caveat that you don't normally see right. and then it's got two medium machine gun turrets there mm -hmm. these machine gun tur sh turrets sh shoot front left and then front right okay, okay. so it, i've got a quite a bit of medium machine gun uh complement in my army uh all these can also shoot flak so right. gives me a little bit of cover against yeah, airplanes sure. against the air yeah but uh it's uh like seven armor so Long, vulnerable target. It is. It is. But it's a big, giant, armored target. It is armored, right. so if it would get disabled, it counts as hard cover. Right. So right. it's big, too, you know. Yeah. Uh, we were talking about War Thunder. Is that yeah. the game? Yeah. Alan has yeah. a hard time killing us because they're so big. The oh, crew are so spaced yeah. around. <laughs> yeah. And they got six guys in there. Yeah. And you've got two way in the back, two way in the front, and two in the middle. Yeah. You know? you've, you've got to kill five of them. You know, so, or, you know, or hit the... the you know, I'm hoping that, uh, you know, like, uh, it, the armor's so thin that it doesn't detonate AP rounds. Right. They just <laughs> right. go right through, right through and, and it never actually dies. detonates, and it just, uh, just ventilates it a few times. So, we'll see. It gives me, I've got a little, just these are my only two anti-armor assets, other right. than the flamethrowers. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, yeah, mine's kind of a get in close, mix it up. See how it goes, but I'm not super. I mean, it's it really this list depends on how the flamethrowers operate. And in Ryan's game, they did horrible, and he right. was able to cream me. Sure, uh, I've got twelve order dice. How many order dice do you have? Ten. Ten. So I've got a few more order dice. I have a feeling I'm going to be out order dice by most opponents, though. Right. Uh, they're going to probably be in the fourteen to sixteen range, which really makes it difficult for my army because I've got so many in a vehicle. Right that you can't really stall that much mm -hmm. when you want to get that vehicle somewhere. Right, right. So, I mean, did uh, Ryan have when you played? He, I think he had 12 like 12. I did. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
All right, so we're going to, well, there's three scenarios that have been posted for the bug eater. One is a, a modified uh, key positions, which I don't know what the modification is. The other one is sectors, and the other one is uh, dub, double envelopment? Yes, yes. That's the one where you run off the guy's table edge? Yes. We both can do that? Yes. I haven't yes. played that one in a long time. No, right. That might be good for my army. However... If you run off too soon, like I did that one game against John Stentz at uh, Operation Sting, I had half my army off the board. And he was able to kind of just kill everything on the board and then run off himself. Oh, so I went yeah. too soon right, off right, the right. board. Okay, yeah. So you want to roll one of those three? Well, I, I thought we could like D3 it. And yep. uh, um, you know, I'll throw a, a D6. So it'll be uh, first one will be uh, one to two will be uh, double envelopment. Double envelopment. Three, four will be sectors. Yeah. And then five, six will be, we'll just play key positions. I don't know what the right. the modification would be. Yeah. It's a three. So sectors. So sectors. Okay. Yeah. That should okay. be interesting. It'll be hard for me to dislodge your tanks. Now you'll be, cho you'll be have the choice to try to get into my deployment zone mm -hmm. and score extra uh, yeah. or be defensive and keep out. So it should right. be fun. Right. All right. right. We'll yeah. get her, uh, we'll roll up sides and uh, all that jazz and get set up. And Very then good. we'll start recording with the regular camera and we'll hopefully have a battle report up in the next couple days. 24, 48 hours. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Money back guaranteed. Yeah, that's right. Hmm.